And the floodlights are shining down on the players here in the Spanish capital of Madrid. We're at the Bernabeu. I'm Derek Ray, and joining me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And with the game just moments away now, this really ought to be a superb watch. It's Real Madrid taking on Manchester United. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And the starting players for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois begins in goal. Carvajal starts with Ferland Mendy in the fullback positions. Toni Kroos plays with Luka Modric in central midfield. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Well, Federico Valverde has that electric quality about him. And Stuart, I wonder what you think he might contribute to this game. Defenders, Derek, hate playing against players with pace and he's got plenty of pace to run in behind. He does it cleverly. He comes short, then spins in behind, and then he's 1v1 against the goalkeeper, and he usually finishes Oh, hang it on, Stuart, it's a chance. This is the team Manchester United will go with. David De Gea between the posts. Luke Shaw starts with Aaron Wan-Bissaka in the fullback positions. Neymar starts with Anthony out wide. And hand of the task of playing up front today is Kylian Mbappe. They're getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. Luka Modric. Still pushing for that goal. Oh, so near. Off the post. Well, threat over for now. Well, they won't come closer than that, but they are creating chances and surely a goal is coming. Well, having been denied by the woodwork, now the focus is on keeping the opposition at bay. Mount. Now with Casimiro. Mbappe! Oh, wonderful goalkeeping! Well, you have to say, from that sort of distance, that's a wonderful save. Now sending it in. On the corner, far too close to the goalkeeper. David Alaba. Federico Valverde. Well, slightly off target, and that'll be a throw in. Neymar. And teammates to play it to. Tremendously strong in the tackle. David Alaba. Rodrigo. And return to Vinicius. Andrej. Well, the supporters think it's on. Surely. And he's missed the opportunity to net the opening goal. Well, it should be 1-0, Derek. You can see how frustrated he is with himself. She was hoping perhaps not to have to blow the whistle, but in the end it will be a free kick. <laughs> Federico Valverde. And return to Modric. Dynamic. 
I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. underway once more let's see if United have the wherewithal to square the game Shaw Mount Bruno Fernandes has it can they trouble the opposition this time a well, disappointing end to the move and can they create something chance to finish an opportunity in it goes at the second time of asking and the keeper feels hung out to dry well here we can see it again normally I'm the first to point the finger at a goalkeeper but I think it's a good initial save I'm not sure he could have done much more just a bit unfortunate really that it dropped to an opponent Is that half time here on the Spanish capital? And off and running again after a dizzying first half performance by Real. Will we see more of the same in the second 45? Vinicius here's Kroos and return to Vinicius on a crucial intervention inside the box Vinicius Jr here's Modric and back with Vinicius he'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge now, counter-attacking possibilities here. And it wasn't a great pass, was it? Mbappe. Neymar. It's with Martinez. It's a fine United move in the making. Opportunity for them to get back into the game. There it is! A goal to reduce the arrears and give them hope that they can turn this round. Well, as the replay shows, this is all about his ability to find space in the box, which then makes the finish look so much easier. That's good play from him. So continuing with the action, United still behind, but this game very much a contest. A really committed challenge, and it's gone out for a throw-in. Well, Real Madrid are going to make the change now. And now here's Aiden Azar. Oh, big opportunity. Well denied by the keeper, but really he only has himself to blame. Casemiro. And Neymar. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Casemiro. Ball played nicely.
Showing patience, looking for the equaliser. Mbappe. A terrific defending to stop them progressing. Aidan Azar. And Valverde. Azar. Look at Modric. Here's Kroos. Chance here. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. It's a short one. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Manchester United know they've got to get on the front foot with time the enemy. Bruno Fernandes. Defensive resilience to shut them down. Modric. Plenty of support here. Vinicius Junior. Well played in from the flank, but not to any great effect. Well, it's not quite in the books yet, but almost for Real Madrid as they try to see it out. Stuart, what have you made of their overall performance? Well, it's been a decent performance from them. They've certainly played the more expansive football and had the better individuals. Can they now just see this through? Not long left. So one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. Vinicius Junior. Here's Kroos. Just couldn't capitalise there. And so there it is, the final whistle. And Manchester United have lost this game, much to the disappointment of their supporters. Well, Derek, it was a poor result, but it was a really tight contest. Both sides had their chances, could have gone either way. But in the end, they will be disappointed. Well, Stuart, he really has had a lot to say for himself.